I have the tier list. Um, prepare for a flashbang. As you can see, it's white and bright. But, um... So you have here this tier list. And... You can zoom in so you all can see it a little bit better. Anyways, so he's got the... You know, Act 1 stuff here, Act 2, Act 3, Act 4, five, Act 5. And all the, the uh, zones that can be terrorized, right? And these are his rankings on those um, as he sees it from... He played a Cold Sork, so I'm guessing he did his tier list based on a Cold Sork. And I'm going to put a... I have uh, editing power. Uh, I talked to him about doing this. Where I'm going to make my own tier list of the same thing, uh, experience, survivability, magic, fine for the paladin, um, and that'll be like compare and contrasting, like the the things he went over. Um, I don't know if I want to watch this whole full video though. 55 minutes is a long freaking video. Um, I like those three column breakdown, yeah. I mean, it's good, right? Like, th these are, you know, pretty under easily understood, right? And uh, S tier, if you don't know, is like top tier. So, like, if you have like S tier Chaos Sanctuary, right? It's like the best. So, um, <clears throat> so how do I go about? Should I just copy paste this over? Yeah, he's got the ranks right here, like S is best, etc. Um, so maybe we'll like copy the paste this over here and uh, do our own. Should include Pally with and without Enigma too. Um, yeah, maybe. The thing is, is if you're grinding for 99, you're going to find the high runes or the gear to, you know, purchase yourself the high runes for Enigma. Um, but yeah, as maybe general rule, maybe do that. Put that spreadsheet on dark mode. How do you do dark mode, dude? Where is dark mode? Flashbang, folks. Yeah. Where's dark mode? <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll switch scenes. Let me see if I can find dark mode. Um... Is there a dark mode setting for... For uh, Google Sheets, you have a dark mode extension. Is that what I have to do? Is get an extension for this? There is an office. Not sure about that one. Uh, if anybody finds it for me, let me know. Just change the background of the cells to gray. Think that'll do it? Helps a little bit, I guess. How's that? Let's take a look. Is that a little better? <laughs> Go to the hamburger menu and settings. Hamburger menu and settings. What? 
Way better? Okay. Well, if that works, then we'll just do that. And then we're going to copy-paste this over here. And then extend J out. And then, should I leave his in here as I edit them? Because a lot of them might be the same. Oh, Halls of the Dead is listed as C tier XP? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, dude. That, that ain't right. It's freaking got three levels. Halls of the Dead is great. Might even be... No, it's not A. Maybe like B plus though or something. But yeah, I mean, that's an easy change right there. <laughs> that's an easy one we can just fix right now. The Guardian mobs are so good XP, especially champ packs. It's like shamans. Yes, but... Okay, here's the, here's the thing. It's good for Sorks, but not good for Hammered Ends, right? So... Maybe I can like do insert above like do that and then come over here and do like Mr. Llama Cold Sword All right. So, yeah, for Halls of the Dead, um, having the magic immunes be the best XP in there, it probably is actually a C. I'm surprised Llama put it as a C uh, for Cold Sork. Because those guys are worth a ton of XP. Um, F for you? Maybe. Uh, there are, like, other okay mobs. The skeletons aren't very good, though base XP wise uh, but I want to put it in D or F like if I saw Halls of the Dead hit Dry Hills, like also you gotta include Dry Hills um, the Leapers are kind of meh but no, Beetles aren't in uh, Dry Hills Beetles spawn in Rocky Waste and Far Oasis not in Dry Hills um, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see all right, let's start from the top, and we'll work our way down, all right? So he's got B for Bloodmore, Den of Evil. I don't know how I feel about that. It's easy. Like, survivability, yeah, super... I would agree with that. Um, the base XP out there is really low, though. I don't know. I don't think it's a B. I think this is a C. This is a... Uh, one of the things about Bloodmore, I mean, you can get to it, or, or like really quick access to it, right? Uh, from Cold Plains or just running outside of town. But uh, the problem with it is low XP base plus like it's just not that dense. That's the thing with the, like these outside areas, like Stony Field, Dark Wood. These outside areas just they don't have much density as far as boss groups go, and they have just like way too much space like it's just a big area with you know very little density so um like these might even be d tier for me uh but yeah survivability easily s magic fine <sighs> i mean llama did find a freaking griffins out there <laughs> um magic fine it's it's like a b minus I don't know if I put it as low as a C. You do have a super chest out of the houses. Eh. It's like, okay. Survivability, though, makes it like the easiest place to farm, so you don't have to worry about like ever even needing battle orders here. Um, yeah. Cold Plains in the cave. Uh, a. I agree with that, I think. 
Colt, the cave is amazing, by the way. The cave is so good. Um, survivability, probably B. Uh, if you include... So Cold Plains is super easy to survive. Cave is a little bit more sketch, only because of the archers, and especially uh, Cold Crow. Her, uh, her damage can be insane. But as a paladin, it's not that bad, especially with max block rate. So I will probably will leave it at a B. I'm surprised it's... I guess, like... I don't know. Some things are going to be like a lot more like a lot more difficult for the paladin, especially like once we get to like dolls in acts uh 3 and 5. Um That seems pretty reasonable though. ABA. Yeah. Okay. And then uh burial grounds the crypt. Another reason why, uh, sorry, one more thing about the Den of Evil and A Blood More. The reason why it's like so much worse than Cold Plains Cave is because Den of Evil only has the one boss group, Corpse Fire. Corpse Fire is pretty good XP though, but he's all the way in the back. So you have to, you know, go all the way through the den to get to him, which is only three tiles, to be fair. Um, but, I mean, the cave always has co Cold Crow, which is a similar XP. And uh, she's always there as a guaranteed boss group and good XP or similar XP, I think, to uh, Corpse Fire. So, but in the cave, you just have so much more. You just have so many more boss groups. It's crazy. That, that the cave was so good. I was so happy to see this. I was not that happy to see Blood More. Um, Burial Grounds, Crypt, Mausoleum. I don't think that's a D. Uh, it is pretty far away. You do have to teleport through the Cold Plains to get to it. Um, so you lose time there. The Crypt and Mausoleum are pretty big with like very scarce density. Uh, but it seems like I found quite a bit of boss groups when I went through it. I don't know. It didn't feel that... It didn't feel like a D tier to me. Um, so, I don't know. That seemed fine. S, yeah, sure. Magic fine. Um, it's got a gold chest. I don't know. I'd probably put it on the same level as uh, Blood More, Den of Evil. That seems about right. I mean, I didn't find a Griffins in Blood More, so, you know. <laughs> Maybe these are just both C as far as Magic Fine goes. Uh, I may miss to remember, but also mentioned some of these being uh, really, really fast, so his group didn't have time to run something while he did Terror Zone. And yeah, that's fair too, right? Like, um, having eight players hit your game is kind of a big deal, right? Because it's 50% more XP per player that joins, so. Excuse me, you get up to 450%. Normally when I port around things like the Forgotten Tower, I see tons of leads and champs. Yeah, like Black Marsh isn't even in here, right? But you want to put Black Marsh with the Forgotten Tower. The Forgotten Tower already has five levels. So maybe you put Black Marsh with the Dark Wood. Like Dark Wood plus Black Marsh, right? Uh, adding Hole seems weird since Hole is in the Black Marsh. Um, you could add Underground Passage maybe. But yeah, that... I don't know if he didn't think about that or not, but yeah. Uh, I disagree with that. Adding density here is fine. Adding density here is probably the same thing. Like, just add density. Uh, add Tristram here. That seems reasonable. I agree with these. I mean, this might even be S as well like survivability wise I didn't feel like I even need to okay S survivability means like you don't need battle orders right I don't feel like I needed battle orders here here or here I definitely needed it here um, Cold Crow would wipe wipe me without it 
Um, but it wasn't like crazy, crazy or anything. It was just, it was pretty scary. If you Telly stomped her and she insta hit you with like Might or Fanata or something and you were amped, that would be pretty sketch. But with 75 block rate, that's pretty bit. I mean, like, that's pretty freaking good DR reduction. Plus having Shaco and Enigma for 18% more DR uh, flat there. So, anyways. Uh, and 125% FCR is a big deal. It is the same thing as a 63 on a Sork. So Llama has one more breakpoint uh, than I did on the 125 FCR Hammerton. So, and having max block rate is like really, really making these just easy. Like uh, Dark Wood. Let's see, is there anything dangerous there? Um, hmm. You got tree head, but I didn't feel like I needed battle orders ever here. Um, yeah, so these I adjusted those as far as like survivability goes. This is just all so easy. You don't need battle orders, and uh, yeah, you, you can crush it really fast as well. Really weak mobs. Uh, as far as XP goes, these two are pretty much the same thing. See, they're both just meh. You get Rakanishu here, you get Treehead here as, like, guaranteed boss groups, but, like, you, I mean, if you run into them immediately, they take away one of your boss groups in the area, so, like, if you spawn near one of them, it's, like, already rip <laughs> on, uh, finding, finding boss groups out there. And a lot of times, I felt like boss groups were just, like, in corners or, like, up against the wall in the middle, Instead of, like, out in the open in the middle, like, you know, when you're teleporting around trying to find stuff, you had to go, like, all the way and explore to the corners. That was, I don't know, that felt really crappy here. So, yeah, those felt really, really bad. Um, and magic find-wise, yeah, that's, that's fair. There's not much out there, boss group-wise, so. All right, Forgotten Tower, A... Uh, yeah, XP-wise, I mean, it was probably better than the cave. This is, like, this is a really good area. But the problem with this area is how tight it is, um, especially when you have, like, boss groups behind those, like, pillars in the rooms. Um, so it slowed your kill speed down quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, B, as far as survivability goes, I would say it's on par with the cave. Like, all the way across the board. Maybe even S here for uh, Magic Find. Because, like, you get keys, you get runes from Countess. Um, you have super chests in the area. You have, like, the armor racks and weapon racks along the way. This is really, really good for Magic Find. Um, but you don't have, like, a boss. Boss. You just have the super unique Countess. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's... That was pretty freaking good. You have a lot going in tower for you, so I think uh, I think that makes sense. A, uh, it's better than the cave, though. Like it's just better than Cold Plains Cave, as far as Magic Find goes. High A. I th I'm gonna put it at S. I think it's it's really freaking good out there. Like you have. You have uh, one in, like, 292 chance of finding an Ist rune off of Countess. Like, to put it that in perspective. Now, you know, that's one every 300 runs almost that you will most likely find an Ist rune. But, like, still. <laughs> that's better chances of an Ist rune than anywhere else in the game. So. Except for maybe Lower Karost and its super chests. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, except... That'll take more than 300 runs. You can just do them way faster. All right, Jail. Yeah. Jail just seemed lackluster. 
I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot better than it was. Um, we, I don't know. It, it felt like you were teleporting around a lot, not finding anything. You do have the guaranteed pit spawn. So, and also you have like champ carvers and stuff. So I think it's better than like these. And you have three levels too. So definitely better than the outside areas. But uh, yeah. B makes sense. Survivability. A has archers. Uh, yeah. That's fine, I guess. Pit spawn can be kind of nasty too. He's always cold and cursed. And the magic find. There's not really much there. It's kind of just whatever you find on your boss groups. So. That's fair. Cathedral Catacombs. Catacombs were amazing. Hmm. See, like, this is, like, A+. Plus. This is, like, A- minus-ish. So, like, there's kind of a bit of a range already on these. Right? Like, I would say this is C+. Plus. This is, like, C. Like, these are Cs. This is, like, C+. Plus. This is, like, a minus, and this is like a a flat probably. Well, I don't know. Cable's really nice. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, this is just how I felt on the Hammerton. Um, survivability wise, the catacombs were kind of sketch. Uh, were they more sketch than like Forgotten Tower with the archers? Not really. They're about the same. Magic fine, yeah. You have count uh and Ariel. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. Those are good. I'm fine with that. Uh Dark Wood here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Add Black Marsh. I think. I think you add Black Marsh to that or Underground Passage. So, or both, <laughs> honestly. But yeah, it needed it needs more. All right, then we'll go with uh, the pit here. C pit. Yeah, it wasn't great. This is like another one where it's like C plus, maybe B minus. It's a it's a really tough one. It it just needs more. Like adding to Mo Highland, yeah. Survivability B, yeah. It also has archers, right? Um, that can be kind of dangerous, but with max block rate, it wasn't that bad on the Hammerden. I would just still want battle orders here. Um. And the reason why, like, this is A, because, uh, and it has archers, is because, like, those archers didn't seem as deadly ever, uh, the skeleton archers, especially being, like, undead, they just seemed slow and died really easily, like, one or two hammers on P8. Um, so did the archers, but they're faster moving, uh, oh, wait, the archers in pit, there we go, um, and also in cave. Those archers just move faster, so, like, they could, you know, dodge your hammers and stuff. And they'd, like, kite a little bit better than, say, the JL archers, so. And then Magic Find. I mean, it's always been a Magic Find area. Uh, that's why I was like, this is like a B-. I almost want to put in, like, B-, A+, right? B-. This is... A plus. This is. This was kind of lackluster too. This is just A. C. This is like C plus. Uh, 
Okay. There's just so much range on these areas. Tristram at a D. I mean, you just had so much time loss from having to find it. And you had to, like... Yeah, just add it to Stonyfield. Like, because if you're just XPing in Stonyfield and you find it, like, that's fine. But, yeah, having to find it and then also, like, it was just such a quick run. Yeah, it was just so fast that, like... You had to keep doing new games, so you had the load screens that like added to a bunch of time. Having to find it added a bunch of time. Having people ha having to join the game, like waiting on people to join the game, um, because you just went too fast for them to do a CS run, even not even a bail run. <laughs> yeah, so th this is all good. Magic find. I don't even know if there's like much. Eh. Uh, survivability A. That's probably fine, too. I'd probably put it on par with Jail. It's almost like an S here. But anyways. Uh, this was a D for sure. Survivability. Yeah, that was rough. Cal's F. Um, do like a D minus here. It wasn't that bad. Maybe even just like a flat D, but uh, what I put it on par with Tristram. <laughs> uh, the thing was, is like, this is a long run, and you, as I hammered in, I just got to keep spinning hammers, and like, I did this with Rob, so we just like kept doing hammers back to back. Um, but like, extra fast cows, fanat cows, might cows, um, amp cows. Like, all of those things were just super deadly in there. Uh, so, yeah, survivability is a D, definitely. Maybe even, like, D minus. <laughs> it was it was rough, man. Uh, magic find. There was a... I mean, since there's so much density, you just get so many drops on P8 that the magic find was really good. Um, it just took so long to kill anything. <sighs> yeah, buffing the Cal XP for to the Terror Zone. Yeah, so these are all good. These are... I mean, I agree with, like, most of the suggested fixes. Like, we've all kind of discussed these kind of things. So, let's, uh... Let's capitalize that. So, it looks like the rest of them, right? Ed Tristram. <laughs> um, Alright. I think that does it for Act 1, though. Like, for me... Got a few changes, and like I said, there's a little bit of range on these. Uh, Catacombs was just amazing. I remember having like, I was super stoked to see Catacombs. So, um, and then like you have things like, like Chaos Sanctuary, right? Where this is just S plus, right? But this is like S minus because for me, this would be an S plus for Llama, and this would just be like an S. For him because he d does CS a lot slower than what I did on a Hammerden. Um, but he could do Worldstone Keep and throw him like super easily, so this would be super good for him. Whereas I can't do Wave 2 without help, so either it's just really bad or it I can go through the Worldstone Keep, which is still good, it's just super dangerous. And this is an F for survivability. This is like a is this a C? This is probably a D. It, I mean, the the Fanata extra strong to say every time is really scary. Even with max block, you definitely wanted battle orders, and uh, yeah, survivability here is F because you have dolls, souls, snakes, like death lords. You just have everything in the game that can kill you in that area. <laughs> so um, you still need Inferno Stride. I never needed him for no stride. I don't think. Thanks, bot. Um, so. Alright, let's go to sewers. Act 2 here. 
um, to kind of give you all like an idea of where my mindset's at, where like we have the high end and like the very low end of things. Um, for example, like Durance of Hate, this is like, this is F. There's so many dolls in here. And as a hammered in, like, unless you manipulate where you teleport in, back, walk back, but keep yourself in range to, like, spin a hammer so it hits it on the second go around. But that's just so slow. Like, there's so many dolls in Durance, and you just have to have your Merc go up and face tank them. And it's just, it's so bad. Like, doll boss groups. Yeah, anyways. That's an easy F for me. All right, sorry. Going back to sewers. Sewers was good. B is solid. Yeah, it was it was solid. This is, um, it was all solid. Fire archer arrows didn't seem that bad. Uh, there were marauders in there, so yeah, I guess B's fine. Um, and magic fine. There's not much. Yeah. So yeah, that that's fair. Uh, Stony Tomb, Marky Waste. This is all good. I was happy to see Stony Tomb, Marky Waste. Sewers has three levels. This has two levels. But it was just... Stony Tomb was just so full of boss groups. It was just so good. Uh, the density in here is just great. Like, this is what every area, I feel like, should feel like. <laughs> every area should be like Stony Tomb in the cave. Like... These two areas were just full of boss groups. It was great. All right. Um, so, yeah. I agree with that stuff. Try Hills, Hulls of the Dead. Yeah, we changed this already. Survivability. I mean, Jeremy did die, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know if anybody saw that death. That was funny. Uh, wait. Y'all can't see the later stuff. Can we move it over here, maybe? Okay, there you go. Um, so yeah, you got like, <laughs> that's funny, man. Jeremy's death in there. Anyways, uh, survivability B, I probably wanted like at least my own battle orders through here. Um, so yeah, that's fair. Experience wise, this is like a C plus. But for me, was it really a C plus? <sighs> Maybe not. Maybe it is just a C. Man. Like, we would let our mercenaries kill the the uh, mummies, the unravelers, because they were just such good XP. They were the best XP in there. So, letting our, our mercenaries tank or, you know, spank <laughs> these guys <laughs> was good. Far Oasis. Um, I don't really have a suggested fix for this one. It's just bad for the Paladin. This Far Oasis, like, if you had Maggot Lair here, it doesn't really do much. Because um, <laughs> nobody really wants to do Maggot Lair. And, uh, I mean, Far Oasis had beetles. I had... Quite a bit of champ beetles, it felt like. But it's a big area with not enough boss groups. Um, once again, I think just increasing density. Does it add density? What do you have here? Increased density? Yeah. Because I don't think at... Like, adding the Maggot Lair gives it another area, but it's just not an area people want to even farm. Uh, I need to close my Steam. <laughs> there we go. Uh, did anyone in your team use Traps in? Teo did. But um, Teo went ahead and took a break from the 99 grind to get geared up for his assassin. And, uh... He didn't want to be given anything, so he earned all his gear by doing some Ubers early. So, selling torches. Anyways, yeah, increased density. 
Uh, Lost City Valley of Snakes, Viper, Claw Viper Temple. This is just bad. The zombies there. I mean, they're great XP. It's just, for a hammered in, they're a magic immune. <laughs> like, it's just bad. Um, and then in the Claw Viper Temple, the snakes are okay. But there's not much density. Oh, let's think. It just didn't seem like there were that many boss groups. There might have been like, you know, quite a bit of like skeletons and snakes and stuff, but I didn't feel like I ran into very many boss groups. Maybe it's like a D plus though, um, or a C, maybe a C minus. But uh, survivability, uh, yeah, snakes are pretty deadly. I definitely want to battle orders. Um, the charging is just so deadly. And then Magic Find, yeah, there's not much here. Once again, not much Magic Find in Act 2. Um, maybe I should do like a C- minus here. Arcane Sanctuary is rough. It was really bad. Uh, might even put like an A here if you hit the Super Chests at the end. And the Ghosts have like a high drop chance on runes and stuff. But, uh, yeah, as far as XP-wise, not enough boss groups. Uh, it wasn't so much the density. It was just, like, they needed more bosses for the size of it, right? Like, I don't know if anybody remembers Llama's explanation here uh, in the video. Um, but, like, he draws out, like, Arcane Sanctuary. Um... The, there. He draws out Arcane Sanctuary. <laughs> Jeez. Like, over halfway through the video. And what ends up happening here is, like, as he describes in the video, uh, basically you have the red dots are your boss groups. And when you first enter, those just immediately spawn in. And so as soon as you go down a path, um, so he's describing going down this way, um, you have another boss group spawn in. And so there's no need to, like, go down deep into the other paths. You just check, like, this first row. And that's it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think just adding, like, there just needs to be more boss groups. Should I say, like champs and uniques or just boss groups I'll just say that this one is just bad because magic immune magic needs more minus res There's more minus Grez. Those dang Resurrectors are the worst. They're such good XP, though. So, yeah, just magic, magic immune. The reason why is because, like, every class can get some form of, like, reducing the resistance. Like, you can get minus physical res from having amp or, you know, decrepify. Um, you can get, or Grim Ward, uh, you can get, uh, you know, minus any elemental damage, uh, from, you know, infinity, lower res, which are only at one fifth effectiveness, but also you have facets, um, in there as well as like something like a Phoenix, um, and infinity itself has the minus light res, so... You could potentially just wear the the infinity on your sork yourself. But yeah, maybe that's the play. Uh, mag for magic, like you're only doing 5% of your damage right. always. So these unravelers, they end up out healing your damage. 
Uh, especially if there's like a champ group or, you know, more than one of them around. They just heal each other more than you do 5% damage. Um, if you do 120th of, you know, let's say you're doing 15k hammers, which is a lot of freaking damage, right? You're still only doing like, uh, what is that, 600 or, uh, let's see, 150 your damage is 750. Uh, so you, instead of doing 15,000, you're doing 750. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's very, very low. So, uh, PWW2, thanks for the follow, welcome to the stream. Alright. You're only doing 6k at 87? Yeah, exactly. So if you don't have, like, the 15k almost near max damage of, on your hammers that you can do, like, you're just not gonna do enough. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're doing less than half there. You're doing, what, a third? Or a little more than a third. At 5k, you'd be doing a third of 15k. But yeah, I mean, you're doing around 280-ish or so <laughs> per hammer. 280. My blizzard did that much on the cold sork at, <coughs> I think, like, level, level 5 blizzard. Oh, jeez. Voice is going out. All right. Um, we're definitely fighting something off. Like, after staying up that long and streaming that long, I was, I was worn out. <laughs> nice boat, man. Congrats. All right. So yeah, arcane. That seems good. I upped it to an A because you had the super chests from uh, from a B here. So you get. You get those super chests at the end of each way. But uh yeah, it's it's rough. Tarasha Tombs, once again, you have the same problem as you do in Halls of the Dead. Uh with the uh unravelers, but you do have beetles. Uh so you can get like champ beetles and beetle boss groups in there. Um It's kind of like a B though. For a hammered in specifically. Otherwise, the area is amazing. Like, this is a very top tier area. It's like catacombs, right? But, uh. But yeah, the unravelers are just too rough. Excuse me. Yeah. That's about. That's about all I would change there. Sadly. For the hammered ends specifically, it's, I mean, maybe a B plus, because it was nice. You have seven areas, and so like you didn't have to kill the unravelers. You could just kill other boss groups. It was, I mean, that's just crazy. It'd be an A plus without the magic immunity being such an issue. It'd be exactly like the, um, the catacombs here. It's really good. All right. Uh, Act 3. Act 3 was awesome for the most part. Um, that's a D. Uh, dolls, no thank you. Um, spider Forest, Spider Cavern. Yeah. Uh, so Zark was kind of deadly, though. But other than that, it didn't seem too bad. Um, it's only not an S because you can have those stupid little raptor bats or whatever they're called. Little flappy, flappy bats. <laughs> not the uh, lightning bats. But yeah, those little raptors, they just come like flocking in. Uh, but yeah, good density, tons of boss groups. Um, was really happy to see this area, uh, and Thorn Hulks were amazing XP, so, yeah, 
this is A+. Plus. This is, I mean, dude, this might even be S. This was so good. Uh, as long as you don't do the Flare Dungeon, on you just, like, don't do Flare Dungeon on the Paladin. Um, so I'll leave it at C, survivability-wise. Uh, this was amazing. This was so freaking good. I, I think I bumped this to an S. It was just, it was so good, man. <clears throat> um, plus three jabs, tw 20 IS jabs are still value, yes. Oh, gauntlets, not jabs. Yeah, those are good. Um, okay. This was bad. The outside areas were bad in the Cross Bazaar. The Rune Temple had Serena, so that was nice. Uh, but the Yetis in there were always, ma I mean, they're always magic immune. They're like really good XP. Uh, so a lot of the XP is wrapped up in those guys. So this is like a B minus, maybe even a C. But you did have, you know, the three areas. So, and it wasn't always just the Yetis in there. You do have other bosses. It's just the body Yetis are the best XP out of them all. <sighs> Sadly, survivability. Serena is always extra fast, right? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. And there isn't much to find. And boss groups outside. Yeah. I mean, it's just okay. It is all kind of just like... This could all be B, honestly. But, yeah. Alright, Kuros Sewers. Agree. I bumped this down to D. It does have the super chests. So this is like... In level 2, that is. And a gold chest in level 1. So, it's actually better than, I think, what Llama puts it at. Um, but it's such a big area with nothing in it. So, like, you just don't have anything. So, you just lose a lot of time. Otherwise, like, if it were smaller, remove, add to upper cross, add density, remove, or, like... I don't know. Like, there's a lot you need to do with this. I want to add... I want to even add this with Upper Karost. Remove or... I don't even know. Like... I'd probably just remove. I don't know. Maybe you want to give them another, like, idea is what he's trying to go for instead of just saying, like, it's just get rid of it but I think you just get rid of it <laughs> like um, I was never happy to see this place if you increase the density you increase the dolls which is a problem um, the mobility in there is awful so you have to have teleport. Um, increase density. And add. Upper. I don't know. I don't even know if adding upper cross helps that or not. I don't know, man. I, I think I'd rather have it just removed. I'm on the side of them just removing it. I wonder if the devs added some areas that nobody likes so people could take a nap during those times. <laughs> yeah. Bereaver! What's up, man? We're going over the, uh, the tier... Terror Zone tier list that uh, Llama first did. And so he has his suggestions over here. And I got mine over here. And uh, we can make a command for this, I guess. If y'all want a, uh, a link here. Commands add. T 
tier list. Something like that. There we go. So. Like, this is, this is so bad, I'm going to give it an F-. minus. Like, you failed so hard, it's just, it's awful. <laughs> like, it's, I don't want to see it, dude. You got a negative score on this one. I'm just kidding. Uh, what's the point of making an area with hardly any mobs a terror zone? It's a waste of an hour. Yeah, I mean... Maybe it's just to make you feel better about other area, whoa, <clears throat> other areas, right? So, like when you get to see, you know, catacombs or CS or Worldstone Keep, you're like super excited because it's not this. <laughs> but it felt like this one hit so often. Like there's just, I mean. Maybe, or, like, make it not happen, like, lower the weight of it, or whatever. Make it just, I don't even know, man. It's just, ugh. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> so, hey, graphics. The best areas that MF right now are, as always, Chaos Sanctuary. Traven call. Uh, Worldstone keeps okay, but it's kind of dangerous. And uh, tower. Cows are still good. You can farm Andy, right? So these are the areas I think are the most worthwhile farming. That's why I put like count us on S, right? Um, oh, that's the other thing about Arcane Sanctuary. You have keys here. So yeah, it's definitely an A. Super chest and you get a uh, H key. Thanks for the follow graphics. Welcome to the stream. I enjoy sewers on my fire sork. <laughs> Cross sewers. Nah, it can, it can, uh, it deserves that F minus, dude. Alright, uh, Trav, like, I just skip this area sometimes. I just didn't XP it if it hit. I took a break and just chilled, relaxed. Uh, Trav and Call, D, it was okay. Oh, man, it was not okay. It was pretty bad on XP. Um... Yeah, you could add the two temples prior. That might be okay. Those have a little bit in it. Not much. But they're guaranteed boss groups. Guaranteed. <laughs> um, survivability, yeah, it's also very dangerous. Um, the council having so many boss groups grouped up there. It's pretty dangerous. But yeah, the, the drops are insane. So and Then Endurance of Hate. What do you think? Survivability is definitely an F. 100% is bad. Uh, there's so many dolls in there. The XP is kind of meh just because of how big the area is. The boss groups are just so spread. Or they're like right around your waypoint because you spawn in you know, so many. And then you spawn in, like, a bunch once you start teleporting in one direction in that direction. So it's like, yeah. All right. Um, I'm fine with this. He's, I don't disagree too much other than, like, changing the survivability to F there. From Llama. Llama's take on that. Anyways. Uh, outer Steps playing as Despair. This was good. I was happy to see this. Survivability is... I mean, souls are dangerous, man. Although, for me, I had 84 light res and a wisp for the souls, so I was fine. Um, yeah. 
this might be worse for other characters. Uh, but not for, like, myself or even, like, a druid with cyclone armor would have a breeze through here. Uh, but, yeah. Survivability C is probably where I would put it. It was kind of dangerous. Conviction souls are very dangerous. Um, but that's really the only thing that, like, I mean, was really scary. The Doom Knights are kind of, eh, not that. I mean, they're just kind of slow. If they had extra fast, they were a little bit more scary. But, yeah. They didn't have, like, the guaranteed spawn of, like, Desace with, like, extra fa Well, Desace always spawns extra strong and with Fanata, which is just crazy damage. And so if they spawn with extra fast on top of that, it's very deadly. Um, I did earlier graphics. Alright. Uh, River of Flame and City. <laughs> the danged. Nice. Little change there. Um, so, yeah. Once again, good XP. These areas were great. Uh, survivability was much easier because no souls. But still wanted battle orders. Uh, I mean, the, the dudes can just hit hard, right? You have Erdars and uh, River. And they could smack. Uh, let's see. Magic find. I don't really know. Like, River, if you go through it, is just really long. And it's not worth it. But if you just hit the boss groups really quickly and then go to City. City was just was pretty good. Uh, but all the way through River was not. Uh, Outer Steps, Plains. Is that really an A, though? Why is that an A? Like, would that put that on par with, like, the density of Flare Jungle? Um, or, like, the, you know, once again, density and gold chests of Tarasha Tombs? Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's equal with, like, the pit and the cave, though. XP per hour is amazing. Yeah. I think I put this at a B as well. These are just kind of okay. Nothing special. And, yeah, definitely a C, B, and then D. <laughs> Magic Vine, though. Chaos Sanctuary is just so good. This was just, by far, the best area. Um, and, yeah. The other S would be uh, Flare Jungle. And then this is an S-. I didn't think this was as good as Flare Jungle. So, moving to Act 5 here. Very lackluster. Uh, suggested fix. I mean, density, boss groups, like... You need it, you need it a lot. Uh, it's a big area. You get the two guaranteed boss groups of uh, Shank and um, Dak Farron. But man, there just needs more. more boss groups and density didn't wasn't terrible but it's such a big area just needs more boss groups just like you know here right an arcane just need to add more boss groups here to here Oop. Um, endurance here is just such a big area, massive area. I don't know, like, if you add more boss groups, does that fix the problem? Ah. <sighs> 
I don't know. This one's, uh, I, I don't know how you fix this one. It's just dangerous. You do get the reset, and there's three levels. So maybe the XP is, like, pretty good. But, yeah. Anyways, sorry. I keep rolling, going back and forth. Because it's not as bad as, like, this. Is what I'm thinking, right? Like, this is better than this. Uh, yeah. Also, this is probably a C as well. Uh, I don't know why this... Oops, I don't know why you put a C here and didn't put a C on Frigid Highlands. Um, they both have, like, the archers, the slingers, um... And I think this can have, like, the fire... Or, sorry, this can have the fire archers, which, like, have, like, that kiting ability. Um, you have three guaranteed boss groups here, right? With Eldritch, uh, Shark Tooth, and Ibac. So you had those three guaranteed. But, yeah, I mean, still, like... Even with the three guaranteed, it was still not good. But it was better than Bloody Foothills. It was better than Bloody Foothills. Which makes me want to put this at B. Or B minus. Okay. That's better. My conspiracy theory is that Blizzard broke MF and quietly fixed it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Magic Find, C. Why is this an S? Let's see. You got Eldritch Spam. But here you have Shank Spam. So, why is this an S, chat? What am I missing? Anybody know? I don't know. I think he sh considered Shank for bloody. Or he just didn't consider Shank for bloody. Okay. He never mentioned it. I can't remember what he said for that one. Maybe we should open up what he said for that one. What did you say for this one, Llama? Flare. And always be killed. Okay, are you in Act 5 now, so... He had it at an A. Right. Let's yeah, listen. Quill, rot, quill rats, archers... Yep. The cats throwing spears. I mean, it's just like a, a D-tier survivability. Maybe it's C-tier and experience. Um... He changes that. But it just was so annoying to go through. I just, the ranged mobs are so strong out there that it's so scary. Um, so, I mean, it's like C. Yeah, I don't agree with the D and C. They're, like, Frigid Highlands also has fire ranged archers. They don't have the quill rats, maybe, per se. Um, but I'm not going to dissect his words, sorry. Glacial Trail. So it doesn't even mention why. This looks to her. It was actually. Do you remember the area? And he goes back and changes it to S, so. Which one of these. A. C, C, I guess he can farm, uh, what, what's his face? So we'll put that there. Thresh socket. Okay. Um, I guess here, never mind. You have Pendle. So, Act 5 was actually pretty nice if you got the later half, like, some of the areas within it. 
<laughs> so Bloody Foothills, Frigid Highlands, and Glacial, Glacial Trail all kind of run into the similar idea of like, yeah, you you know, there's just not enough. It just isn't enough out there. You kind of teleport around looking for boss groups. Yep. And it's just not amazing for, for that. Um, so I just feel like... You know, I, I, it just was really annoying. <laughs> the experience wasn't wasn't worth it. There was just too much teleporting and not enough like any other extra zone to go to, right? So you run out of bosses very quickly. True. Survivability as well. Bloody Foothills is just like asking to kill you. I should probably change these to C, B, B or something. No, like. Fr Frigid Highlands and Bloody Foothills are on the same level. Um see frigid islands isn't that dead if i could have talked to him hills is more deadly with all of the annoying stuff see i don't think he remembered the fire archers in frigid highlands because you have you have the fire skeleton archers but then you also have like the vile archers i think is what they're called or whatever um and they have like they move fast and they yeah they're just they're deadly um and they're annoying to try to hit with hammers because yeah, they're but uh, yeah, you do get crazy amounts of like fire archers out there, burning arch, uh, skelly archers, or whatever they're called. Yeah. And again, not a lot of great magic find to happen down in the Bloody Foothills. Frigid Highlands, I will admit, you can go to uh, just kill the boss. It takes like 20, 30 seconds um, to just get Eldritch and just kill him, and then bounce back again and go kill him again and rip. So yeah, he doesn't even mention Shank. It's in repeat over and over. So if you're just looking for guaranteed spawns, I think that's where you want to go. Glacial Trail. Uh yeah, but see, I don't like that reasoning. Um, okay. <sighs> Shank isn't as good uh, as Eldritch. Shank... Um, like, he'll kill the stuff in the area, right? But his minions aren't actually minions. Um, so they're actually less XP as Eldritch. So the, that's, like, one thing here. Another thing is that in Bloody Foothills, you have, like I said, the three guaranteed boss groups at the very least. Um, and then you don't get the stupid, annoying little raptor that... Uh, um, spawn in the Frigid Highland. Like, they don't spawn here, as, but they do spawn in the Bloody Foothills. And those guys are really poor XP. So th this is all just slightly better um, XP-wise. And so that's why I think, like, there's a range, right, of, like, these C and B, these, you know, you almost need, like, you know, an A through Z list. Because <laughs> um, they can all just be their own different one but fairly they're fairly close right uh but yeah i think there's a little bit of change there that, that needed to happen glacial trail <sighs> dude does Gla glacial trail has the death lords right if we go to max roll here these guys are so deadly um let's go to uh just normal mobs in glacial trail Snow drifters, those guys are easy, um, and they're great XP, like the big yetis. Uh, Frozen creeper, also very easy to kill. Uh, Rot walker, these guys have charge, and they're nasty and very deadly. Um, bone warrior, are the like, are those like the, not like the bone mages, but they're the melee version, I guess, right? Uh, they're both cold immune anyway. Um, these just shoot an ice blast or ice bolt. And uh, yeah, these these guys are squishy, easy to kill, not great XP. Wraiths, mana burn, can be kind of deadly because uh, they can all stack up. Um, so there's that. Gloom bats, same thing. They can be kind of deadly like the wraiths. 
Uh, but yeah, the Moon Lords and the Pit Vipers. Once again, this all this is way more deadly to me. Way more deadly to me than the uh, this stuff out here. Like this stuff was like not that bad. That stuff was way way scarier. Um, maybe even D tier, scary. Cause I mean the charge. If you got hit with amp, that that could do like 2k damage. That was nuts. Um, yeah. Like there's a big difference here for a paladin with max block. Like these archers out here, not that bad with max block. Um, and then also you could put on like a a uh, a dwarf star for the fire absorb. So what these areas not that bad. I probably wanted to have like my battle orders for it, but I didn't need like barbarian battle orders like I felt like I needed for this. Um and maybe even same for Crystalline Passage, Frozen River, right? Um where you have once again the blood lords. The creepers are just annoying. Claw Viper. So you dropped uh, the the Walking Stickman, I guess. But um, maybe a little less deadly in the Crystalline Passage. But Frozen River, you have Souls, Glooms, right? So, and also Snakes. And also, you could have uh, Sirens for the Amp. So Amp plus the Claw Viper or the uh, Rot Walker. Dude, that was so deadly. That was, once again, another D tier, like, survivability-wise. Super sketch, man. Um, Magic Find, there's not really much there. XP-wise... I want to say Glacial Trail. I don't remember Glacial Trail feeling that bad. Uh, maybe it wasn't that great, though. What not it Glacial Trail and Icy Cellar? Or, oh, no, it's Ancient's Wait, Icy Cellar. My bad. Um, yeah, Glacial Trail didn't have its added area. What is, what's the add-on to Glacial Trail? Drifter Cavern. You could add Drifter Cavern. Right? It's an area level 85, but why not? Add it to, to the Terror Zone. I think you add Drifter Cavern here. Um, Frigid Highlands... You just add, like, is this, is Abaddon, let's see, yeah, Abaddon's in, Drist in uh, Fridge Highlands, and then, oh, Pit of Asheron, okay, right, I couldn't remember which one was which. With more density. Add Abaddon with more density in boss groups. All you can do here is just add more boss groups. Or maybe you just combine these areas. What do you think about that, guys? At just combining these two areas instead? Instead of making like this many, you know, wouldn't that just be better? You could do Shank Eldritch. That seems fine. Uh, Shake, there are a lot more viable classes. It's just you need the gear, so. High value. Yeah, I think maybe 
or combine with... I think that's the play. I think I'm just going to say that. Combine with Frigid. I think that's the fix. I think I'd be pretty happy with that. That'd give you two areas that you could reset your bosses. You go to the Frigid Highlands waypoint. You hit your boss groups all in that small, you know, area. I would add the red portals too. You could potentially add Ibit on. But the red port I mean, who's gonna do Abaddon? Its density is so crap. We'll put a question mark on that. Uh, that's what you have to do to air at plateau, though. Um, let me spell spell this correctly. I suck at spelling. Uh, why am I missing this? Air at plateau. There it is. Pit of Asheron. A C H. Okay, so add Pit of Asheron and increase the boss group density and boss groups in there. Uh, this was good area. This was so I, like we were super stoked to see this. Uh, this is almost like it's almost like the uh, flare jungle, but you didn't always get flares. Sometimes you also got like uh, the Hell Lords or what are they called in there? Oh, you got Prowling Dead. That was deadly. Um, oh, you could get Beetles in there. That was good. Golly, there was just like... It was so hit or miss in here. Night Lords. Um, I guess is what they're called. But yeah, Devilkin Shamans and Devilkins. And Scarabs and Flares. Like, you could have tons of density. Like, imagine hitting 1, 2, and 3... Like, the density you could have in that area would just be nuts. But then you could have snakes and prowling dead and night lords. So it was like, it was kind of scary. C is definitely where I'd put that. Um, maybe even D, but yeah, that was... And the poison, the poison in here is also just really annoying. So... Magic find S. Oh yeah, you have you have Nelthak. So sure. Okay. I agree with that assessment. We changed a few things, I think. Uh Ancient's Way Icy Cellar. Uh did this feel like Frozen River? Crystalline Passage? Yeah. They felt about the same. Survivability. They felt about the same. Icy Cellar is super sketch. You get souls, you get dolls, you get death lords. Uh, do you get snakes? And, wait, let's see. I think it was like one of the most deadly places, if that was correct. Let's see. Icy Cellar, Hell Lord, snakes, dolls, uh, ghosts, uh, gloom, um, souls, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And Sirens for Amp. So the dolls just did, like, double damage. Uh, you didn't have the Walking Stickmen, though. Okay. <laughs> the Chargers. I think you did have them in Ancient's Way, though, right? Reanimated Horde. There. So... Ancient's Way wasn't as scary as Icy Cellar. But man, was... I mean, this is like a D minus. Like, this is a... This is a very low D, okay? Like... 
Uh, maybe even F if you did Icy Cellar. Oh my gosh. Like, Ancient's Way brings it back up from the F tier, I think, of survivability. But Icy Cellar, like, by itself, F, like, survivability. It's crazy sketch in there. But yeah, XP, you felt pretty good about finding it. I was pretty happy. It was okay. It wasn't like, yay, but it was like, that's cool. That's good. Um, magic find. There's not really much there at all. <laughs> you have the gold chest after uh, killing the uh, bone chip. And then, yeah, world song keep. We already went over that. Yep, I think that's good. Uh, so, we'll have to uh, we'll have to see what Llama's reaction is to that. Maybe he'll react. It's, uh, he'll have a he'll have something to say about it. But I think I think this makes the most sense. I really like this idea. Actually, and the more I think about it. Um, I would really just, I'm on the side of removing this completely and yeah. Is there anything that's F tier other than this? No. <laughs> yeah. This has its own F tier. Okay. Like. I don't think I put anything on F, so I'll just put it as F. That That is a failing grade for me. It's not as bad as Moomoo Farms. So I'm not going to put Moomoo Farms on F. Maybe even this is just a D, honestly. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. That'll, uh, I love how it just automatically saves. You don't have to hit save. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix some of this stuff, that'd be cool. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that about does it. There needs to be, right. for the magic Sunder charm to be useful, for Hammerdens to want to use it, they need to have some thing that is reducing magic resist otherwise I mean these areas just don't do it for you sadly like this would be so good this would be so good if you could just get a little more you know Minus magic res. Or maybe do the magic sunder charm just needs to do more than 95%. The sunder charm just needs to bring it down to like... I don't know. 80 magic res or, or something. That gives you like... You know... Enough damage at least to kill them. So, Hey look, there's an lo anonymous llama here. <laughs> Not actually Llama himself. Alright, cool. Uh, I think that'll do it for that.